Hey everyone, this is part two of testing of the laptops. Now I will confess, I've already gone through them, but I thought I will do it for you guys as well. So, here we go. I couldn't resist, I just, I had to go through them. So, first on the pile here is this Toshiba, which um, apparently came with Windows 2000 originally. Now I did actually have to go in my outside closet because I needed a 15 volt power supply for this. So, have that in there. Luckily I've actually got a few of these. For these older Toshibas. That one is actually branded Toshiba. Right, I need... You know what, cables keep getting wrapped around. Let's get that out of the way. Plug that in, open her up, that's right, the power button is a little switch on the button side here, which doesn't seem to be working, I know why it's not working, because I haven't plugged it in. <laughs> And it's a little slide switch on the side here to turn this one on. Yep, there's um, apparently no hard drive on this one because it's come up saying insert system disk in drive. Press any key when ready. Now. <laughs> yeah, I've already looked in there, there's no hard drive. What are you doing with that before? Yeah. Right, that can go over there. Well, that's in the one in the pile that works, but needs work. IBM next. Now I know in, I can't remember if that's the first video or the last video, I did say that this, um, I didn't have a 16 volt supply for this. Well, when I can find it, found a universal one up, but I couldn't find the bits. I actually think I threw out the bits. So after Christmas at some point, I am going to buy a new one of these. So just sort of a uh, jerry rigged a temporary one. <clears throat> so here's the connector. There. What do I need? I need the snake eyes plug. Pop. We have an edit. A little light flashing there. Battery. Battery's gone static, so I presume. Well, the battery light is now static, so I presume it's charging. As we can see, this one turns on. But it's got press F12 to choose a temporary boot device, so I've got a feeling someone's taken the hard drive out of this one as well. But it doesn't matter, because I do have IDE hard drives up there, because this is one that I'll want to get working. Because um, I do like my ABMs. I wouldn't mind s some slightly newer, one, newer ones to this. Let's just press F12 and see what happens. Shut up. <laughs> Check date and time settings. Yeah. It's going to be one of those that isn't going to let you do anything until you've sorted that out. Oh well, well as you can see, this one does technically work. I just need to, uh, well, basically put a hard drive in there, perhaps change the um, CMOS battery and uh, she'll be good. Give her a clean up, try and get some of this crap off of it. There is at least one laptop down there by your feet that uh, is parts, it's scrap. 
it's actually so scrap that I've already started to uh, dismantle it. Right, I'm getting rid of this one now because I don't need the universal one. I think the universal one will have its uses. If I actually do those connections better and perhaps shorten this lead a bit, I could uh, actually use that for that IBM permanently. Right, so I think this is 19 volts. I'm just trying to find a power do it e on it. Yep. And yes, I can read upside down. I think most people can read upside down. <coughs> upside down, that's the wrong. That's the one I cut the lead off of. <laughs> Here it is, that's the one I'm looking for. Ho, 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 ho. I've sort of started piling them up in the um, bedroom as well, in the two piles. Working and ones to be fixed. Guess which pile is actually bigger? <laughs> if you guessed the pile to be fixed, you guessed right. To be honest, even though I've already gone through these, I can't actually remember. <laughs> Bit of a sticky catch. Can't remember what worked and what doesn't. So... This one is actually totally dead. This one might actually be another parts one. I will open it up and see if I can get it to do anything, but... In fact, all the lid is cracked on it. I'm not sure it's actually worth it. That'll prob probably be another spares one. In fact, I'm going to make that spares one. So we'll have a look at it now, shall we? Let's move you. Well, that might give, I might um, stay out of the way of the camera a bit better. That's battery under there. <clears throat> I've got a Dell laptop on here and I can't remember if I actually checked that in the last video or not. So this has got two RAM slots in it, only one module though. And that is actually DDR2 RAM in this. Hmm. What I'm actually going to do, twang, <laughs> put this back on for now. Sort of. But I'll have a look at that tomorrow and see if I can get that working. If not, scrap. Alright, let's just run this Dell again because I, I really cannot remember. Swap plugs, grab the Dell supply, the wrong plug, I just remembered. I think I actually used, did I use this one? I did. <clears throat> Alright, then we swap the plugs back. What do I do with the other plug? Oh, if I remember rightly, I think this one actually works. That's annoying because the uh, the eject button here for the uh, blanking plate and um, <coughs> PCI devices doesn't actually stay in. This works, so it will be another one to go in the work pile. And I know that one works. I'll show you that one working. I've actually got one in the working pile, it just needs a reinstall of Windows XP because it's password protected. I could, if I really wanted to, faff around trying to uh, trying to um, 
crack the password, there is methods to get around it, but I can't be asked. It's going to be just as easy to throw the XP disk in there and reinstall Windows. If I choose to keep it, that's the other thing, I may not choose to keep it. This one I'm going to keep, because it's actually quite a nice deal. Ooh. I haven't heard that sound for a while. There are unused icons on your desktop. I don't give a monkeys about that. That's what I can find. Lots of icons on here. Right. <clears throat> What's the specs on this? Beginning of Windows XP, I'm going to say 512 megs of RAM. I don't know about processor. Well, I haven't seen that for a while as well, that little torch. <laughs> Click on system. It's probably got something like 40 gig drive in it as well. Oh! It's got 248 megabytes of RAM. So, less. Uh, 1.4 gigahertz processor, which is an Intel Celeron. Built in Wi Fi because it's just flashed up there. Actually, working pretty quick. I do like the choice of uh, background picture. My computer, I just want to see what hard drive I got. What do you reckon? 40 gig? 80 gig? I'm going 40 gig. We have a 40 gigabyte drive. <laughs> think I know. Yeah. Near enough. Don't want to hit the question mark. The hard drive has stopped running as well so it's all booted, booted up and ready to go. There is some PDF files on here. They're probably going to contain something private so I ain't going to click on them. That's something I will go through in my own time. In theory, you will just wipe and start again. But, as it's for my own private collection, and it's working, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to delete everything off of it that is either private data for the previous owner or not needed. Whichever comes first, right, so that one is actually a working one, as it is. I've got to try and remember this now. Now I know this one works as well, because I've got two of these, believe it or not. I think. Yeah. And the other one's got a bit of red tape on it. This one is a different one, sorry. This one's got a power issue. If you actually watch one of these two lights here when I press the power button, see it just flashes and that is it. Which tells me there is an error on this somewhere. Not an error, a fault. I wonder if it's the battery. Let's take the battery out. See if it does it this time. Because maybe if the battery was faulty, it wouldn't. Not turning on at all now. No light whatsoever. Nope. This one looks to be dead, Jim. That could very well be another one. Parts. So that can go on the floor and the others.
I'm losing the plot. I'm sure, I'm sure I am. <laughs> I'm actually sure this Asa did work. I know one of them worked. Put the right power supply in, am I? Yeah, 19 volt. it worked I was gonna break one that I've got. oh no that's right I think it was this one that I was gonna fix I'll find the power socket yeah because I've got another one of these on the floor um, currently in bits. Yes, I know operating system is not found because I don't have a hard drive. I have actually got a spare hard drive. So yeah, I do want to get this one up and running. I've got a friend who's interested in one of these, but to be honest, spec-wise, they're shit. <laughs> This is the one with the shorted. Yeah. I don't know if you actually heard that cracking, but that's got a faulty. Um Power jack. I think I could actually fix that one if I fix the power jack. Which, as I've got one down there that won't turn on, I might as well swap the power jacks if I can. Now I think this one turned on as well. Did it? Turned on. But did it boot? Did it boot? doing that then. I've got Dell here that stopped working as well. It was working in that video but now it's stopped so I've actually got three as well. Pardon me. I have got three um, laptops I can't test because I haven't got a, a do-wiki for it. found another racer. <laughs> I can't remember. Oh yeah that was it. That's all this did. It just got stuck on that screen. So it may need a new hard drive. I could try and reinstall the windows. Is this that dodgy one on? So that one's got the dodgy. That one doesn't power up. That one's shorted. sure this one worked. Well, I've got three of these similar, so I'm sure I can conjure something up with them. Two of 
two of them have got identical jacks on so I can swap them. Um, that was it. I've got the pink Dell. We haven't done that one yet, have we? I'm going to save that one for last because I know for a fact it actually isn't working at the minute. Right, another HP here. We might have done this one in a previous video. But it's funny how that exact same screen comes up on the compact. Ah, we're missing hard drive then. Well, the hard drive is dead. Hard drive could be dead because I can actually hear something clicking. Then again, I've got the hard drive thing there. Just because it's not detecting the hard drive doesn't necessarily mean it's the hard drive that's at fault. Could be. Um, could easily be something else. Right. So I've got this Dell here that I would actually like to fix. And it would be the best one to fix up. Oh, in case you're wondering, the Fujitsu was this one that I've scrapped. I mean, ugh, look at that. It's just so dirty, so rusty. I did turn it on, nothing happened. Um, so I literally just took a bunch of bits out of it. And uh, if you want to know how crappy that was inside there, look at that. Yeah, it wasn't worth the hassle of this one, so I'm going to take the screen off of this one. That can actually go in the bin now. I might rescue the keyboard, because that might actually still function, and then the rest of it can go in the bin. This isn't worth it, I don't think. Um... Because I did turn it on, like I said, nothing happened. The screen was all blank, so probably got an issue there somewhere. Got another Toshiba there that didn't want to boot either. Sure. Need a laptop with some RAM. <laughs> Not that one. That one. to play Steely the Ramsey. Ow. Right, I've got some Hynix RAM here. And you see, I couldn't get this to do anything. What I want is two 512 megabyte sticks of RAM. Rated the same, in fact. What is the rating on this one? If I can get it out now. Whoop. 3200. Alright. What's this one? 3200? No, it's a 4200, so that ain't really good. What we got in here? Where's my screwdriver? Uh, uh, too many covers. Where's the RAM? So I might use this if I can get this to release the RAM. Release the RAM. Thank you. Ah, oh, this is no good because that's DDR. <laughs> a total waste of time and effort. Not built in Wi Fi though. Right. 
Keep getting confused with all these laptops around us. I think this one might be exactly the same as the one I just put on the floor. I don't know where I had a tray of DDR2 laptop RAM and I cannot find it. This one's actually different. This one is DDR2. So what I'm gonna do is trap my fingers. Because I don't know if it's a RAM issue with this laptop or what it was, but I just I couldn't get it to do anything last time. You see, I don't know if it needs both slots occupied, because I know some Dells do, they design it that way. Don't know why I'm sure they just do it to be awkward. Nice the Wi-Fi switch. Right, so I need this one. Juice, open her up. It's not a RAM problem. I don't know if you can see that blue light there flashing on and off. Hold it down, anything? Nope. So, this has got a motherboard issue, unfortunately. So, this is scrap. I'm just curious, what are these? Gigabyte wise, or megabyte? 512 megabytes, nice blue ones. Here, just so I know where they are. So, okay. Got one hard drive at least, 160 gig hard drive. That's the second. Sata hard drive that I've managed to salvage. Got another one here. What's this one? Upside down is what it is. It is. Oh, it's only a little 40 gig one, that one. Okay, so I'll keep those. What else have I got that I can pull off of this? I'll pull the Wi Fi card off. Simply because I have come across. Laptops that haven't needed them. I will as well go around and take out all the screws. Intentionally, because I could do with a top up. Second Wi Fi card at least. Yeah, you know what? Let's pull off the heat sink and have the processor out of this as well. I don't know what it's going to be running. Casings on this one was in better condition. I'd have probably put the whole thing up on eBay as spares repairs, but I don't think it's worth it, not with all the broken plastics and whatnot. I will have that because you're not supposed to put these in the bin anyway. through and take out screws. See what I can get out of this. Not that I need anything, like I said, I just want the screws.
I wonder what that's for. It's actually got a SIM card slot on it. I have never seen a laptop with a SIM card slot on it. I doubt that's the problem with it then. Had to take the battery out anyway because there's a couple of screws under there. In my rookie days at taking apart laptops, I learned the hard way that they hide screws. Due to the fact that I actually vandalised the laptop trying to get it apart. Nowadays, now that I have more experience, I don't make that rookie mistake. Of my screws come out of it. Right now, I know for a fact. Oh, no, there isn't. A laptop this modern and it's got an IDE type disk drive. Not SATA. I'll just see if there's a disk in here. There is actually a disk in here as well. I'm going to take that apart and get that disk out of there. I want to know what it is. Alright, don't think there's any more screws on the bottom here. Sometimes they hide them under there where the disk drive goes in and where your hard drive goes in if it's like this one. But not today. The screen looks good, so I think I'm going to salvage that as well. Alright, chances are I think I'm absolutely 100% right screws under the keyboard. So what we need to do is pop this bit off. I'm just going under the keyboard. Take the keyboard out, which I will keep as well. I've got a box of laptop spares up in my cabinet to my uh, that way. <laughs> the wall cabinet. Keyboard. I've managed to ping a screw somewhere. I don't think one screw is going to matter though. I don't know if that's worth selling. Screen might be though. I mean, I always see bits like this on eBay. I just don't know if they'd actually sell or not. Because how often is a bit like that going to get damaged? Screen, quite easy to damage. Oh, I just found that screw. Now, I know that somewhere, because I can feel the damn thing. What under here is it? No. There it is. underneath the keyboard. I don't know why they do that. I mean, surely the number of screws they put in the bottom should be enough to hold the top to the bottom, but no. No. We can't be that bloody easy, can we? No, of course not. There's the screen cable. Cable there. Small one for that. Down here, a bit, of, a bit of wiggling. Not with a bit of wiggling, because I just found out I've actually got to pull out all of these 
what will look like some sort of antenna wire. They've got to be pulled out and pulled through. Which isn't as hard as it looks, it's just bloody fiddly. Right, I'm getting somewhere. Getting somewhere slowly, but we're getting somewhere. Not screw just fell out the bottom. I don't know where that came from, I thought I took them all out. Alright, so now what I need to do is pull all of these through here, like so, and that still isn't released because we've got what looks like a um, speaker wire there. There we go, that's released it. I think I might have just broke something there, but I don't care. Um, I might take the touchpad sensor off of that later. I don't want to do too much with the camera rolling because this is going to take ages, isn't it? It's the one I want. Well, it's not a bad thing because I've got to pull these cables out because they're going up to the monitor anyway. That's a monitor cable as well. That must be for the lighting. Alright, so we get all these four screws out and I'll get the screen off out of the way. If I can't get ones like this one over here working, the Fujitsu Siemens, I'll take the RAM out, take the hard drive out if it's got one, and uh, Put the rest on eBay. I was just thinking, you know, I could have sold the whole thing, but there's probably not very many pink ones out there, so I can't see that bit selling. But I will take the screen out of that later. Put the screws on there. I'm just on a screw salvage now, more than anything. I don't think there's actually anything in here worth. There was two other laptops with this lot, but they'd uh, they've been pretty much destroyed, probably to remove the hard drive. So. I literally just sort those out, put them straight in the bin when I was at Mum's. And I'm actually tempted to take a couple to Mum's tomorrow, so I've got something to do, you know. Perhaps them two RMs, I might take those. Because I'm always saying I'm bored when I'm at Mum's, so... That's not a screw, that's a plastic peg. Another big screw in here. I think that is it. The one thing I actually haven't found yet, I have been looking for, is the um, the BIOS battery or the CMOS battery, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I thought I'd broken that off. What's this? I thought I'd found a memory card, it's one of them blanky things. Dell certainly likes using those blanking doohickeys. Oh, I've forgotten a screw. Right up in this corner. something but 
It's even got a modem in it, look, dial up modem. Yeah, let's have that out there for shits and giggles, shall we? Just because. <laughs> Where's the. Oh, there's the CMOS battery. It was hidden up. Hidden under that edge. Well, I want to know what all of these are for. Does anyone know what these stand for? UWB, WWAN, and. Well, I know what WLAN is. That's wireless LAN, but I've already had. No, actually, I think I took the wireless line out of that. Let's uh, grab that modem, just for giggles. Uh, could be an interesting task trying to get that battery out there, because this is probably still good. Go straight in the bin. Short of taking the screen out, I don't think there's anything else. There's certainly nothing on the motherboard now, I've got the processor off. Mm. There's literally nothing else that I can take off of this, no screws, no nothing. Beep. What do I want out here? Anything? Ooh. I'm going to put that bit up on eBay as it's a separate board. USB and the um, power socket. I wouldn't have been surprised if the only problem with this was this, but I doubt it. Because that just takes the power onto the motherboard, which it clearly had because it was working. So, because it was charging the battery fine and uh, it was making the power light blinky when I hit the power button. So. thingy board. I don't know what a thingy board is, but I've got one. Oh, I'll just break that. <laughs> there we go. I oh, know. Put the screen back. Back, rather not brack. Keep this. I'll put that over here. There's a screen hinge. Where the hell did the screen hinge come from? Put that over here to yeah, I don't need that, do I? No. <laughs> right, so that screw's missing. Got one there. One there. One there. I will have that bloody webcam out of this as well. Because, believe it or not, you can use these webcams in here as discrete tiny little cameras. Um... I've seen someone do it, they used it as a home security camera. If you can find out what the um, each wire does, which isn't hard, you'll find it out on the internet. I was wondering why there's three holes up there as well. I can't have three microphones, surely. One that's got to be the pig. I thought the screen had cracked for a second there, but it hasn't. The noise I was hearing was just the um, bezel peeling from the um, screen down here because it was glued on. Be surprised if it was glued on due to oh that's where that screen hinge come from. I wouldn't be surprised if that was glued on by the previous owner. Just 
Screen hinges themselves don't often break. It's usually the plastics. So, keeping that in mind. Sure. Can't see any damage. So that can go there. Right. as well so theory the wiring on this cable should include speakers or microphone I should say all right put that cable back on there and I've got a tiny little camera module just think what I could hide that in hide that in anything. Like I said, I think the wire right, is the same on most of these, so if you just Google it, or YouTube it, like I said, there's YouTubers out there I've seen that have done it. Right, that's just Wi-Fi wires and antennas. Most pad itself is actually part of the plastic. <sighs> yeah, so that look good. What the mouse buttons are, it might be worth sticking them on there. Should actually stick some. Or not, because after all that, one of the buttons are broken. Don't want Wi-Fi antennas, but I will have the screws. Yes, I heard you, Nemo. There we go. So we've got a lovely big pile of screws here. A couple of back, I've got another couple of spare batteries as well. I don't need. <laughs> right. One laptop done for parts. <sighs> I'm now thinking, do I finish this one off? Not there's, uh, that there's actually a great deal on this. I will, but not on camera, because I just want to salvage screws from that and the screen. Alright, bit of a longer video this time, so uh, thanks a lot for watching if you made it this far. I will talk to you all again in the next video. Bye!